I love this thing. So now I don't have to hold up the phone for you. you yeah, just I was see? just telling you how much I do like this car. In one point, <laughs> it's a really nice video. Turn left onto Coconut Boulevard. Android Auto for the win. So today we're heading up to Jacksonville. Daddy. We're heading towards the I-95. What's up, Billy? Yes. Yes, because I was sitting then right. <laughs> yes, the green arrow shows where we are going. Are they ready to go? Yeah. You know how long this drive is? No. Four hours long. What? <laughs> Enjoy. Are they want some tunes for the road? Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> well, they get outvoted. Yes. Let's see if I can. Where is mine? The one that was just playing. Okay, I'll do like one second of it so Linda doesn't get a copyright strike. You need gas? No, it's saying that we're not full tank of gas here right now. Okay, good to go. What's the name of the gas station, Uncle? Omar was saying you get good prices. Speedy or Speedo? Speedy. I feel like we went there already, that's in Venus Road. They have some giant trucks in this place. Respect the truck men in Trinidad. Look, you see? On the next side. Look how big. <laughs> you know, Uncle Mar was saying that when he was in the Trinidad and he saw the new roads, he's a kind of amazed at himself. He said, I used to drive truck on the road, boy. There's some big trucks like that here. No, that's the worst. <laughs> Three hours, 42 minutes. How are you going there? Good, we're heading on to the I-95. Uh, the toll road would have been the turnpike. Yeah. Uncle Mar was telling us that he, he don't particularly like the turnpike because it's two lanes and you know traffic going. It's like you're paying, yeah. You're paying for, for that and you can only drive on two lanes. So this I-95 is a, a toll free road. It's like a highway and there are lots of lanes so you can drive at your convenience. Your Go place. straight on for 3 hours and 30 oh minutes to exit 333 <laughs> State Route 9B to I-295 East Beltway. Well, we probably don't need halfways right now. <laughs> 3 hours and 32 minutes. And we have um, cruise control. That's most important. <laughs> I can't because it helps me remember what you're driving on the right side of the road, you know what I mean? Because I, I remember years ago, probably on our <laughs> probably on our first trip to the States. Yeah, Daddy was on the right side. We used to buy a gas station or something, man. And Daddy pull off with all confidence, we follow in maps, eh? Well, so your waist is literally a big map that they collect at the airport or some tour place or whatever. 
And my boy turned onto this big highway, maybe the I-95 too, and driving with full confidence, man. All of a sudden, we see about four lanes of cars coming towards oh us. Oh my god, what are they doing? Just pull on the shoulder and, <laughs> and then I don't even see navigate and turn around. I can imagine Lance. <laughs> Lance probably, he probably had a mini heart attack in that moment. You know? Boy, it was scary. And then we pass, so I trying to follow the maps as a little fella, right? And I tell him, Daddy, I said, Daddy, we passed the exit, you know. Mommy, everybody tell him, Daddy, we passed the exit. Daddy drive on about 23 exits later. <laughs> and then, you know, I feel you really passed the exit, you know. <laughs> uh, I mean, that advancements in, in technology are amazing. Know, you know. <laughs> amazing. I enjoyed it. I, I, I do enjoy being chauffeured in America. <laughs> I would like. <laughs> I like to drive a Trinidad, but I feel like I need to. A class, maybe after like a couple of weeks. But you see. Because uh, I was comfortable driving like in the villages. Well, no, like the towns by Auntie Mama there. Right. But you see, like on the big highways, like once we reach that hard rock and the, the stadium in Miami there. No, I would gladly hand over the race. <laughs> I think the, the thing that appeals to me the most is the order. Well, I wasn't going that direction, okay. but the, the order when you're driving in the towns and people wait and they stop and whatever, yeah, that, that appeals to me. So I feel comfortable um, with that. But when I, when I go to these kind of real busy places, it's be amazed that hey, when I in my little small zone in Cora, Trinidad, and Tobago, all that happening. all this happening. I remember years ago in San Francisco. We went down to Chinatown and I stand up outside a store looking at people pass beautiful Asian people. <laughs> you know that's your favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> and I was amazed. I was like, wow, when I in my little quiet zone in Trinity back then, it's like all this going on by you. It amazed it to me. We're taking a little break from the iPads as we say, okay? Are they good? Yeah. So, so my, my pal who we had invited today, Freddie Bacon, the, what, what do they call it? Hydroponics? They do hydroponics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the name of the place is um, greatlettuce.com and back in 2009, yes, somewhere around there. Bacon or something with bacon lettuce. They can, are those great letters? Yeah. Anyway, greatletters.com I think farm. is the website. Okay, I have to check it. Because um, I think you're wrong. <laughs> usually. And uh, in 2009, we went to uh, Las Vegas together. He had been to Trinidad and, and, and we met. And then we went yeah. on to California. Yeah. You don't need to take a break now, Haley. No, at half ten. You have to have half an hour. I don't want to. Okay, oh, excellent. That's fine. Yeah, we went to Las Vegas and we drive through Dead Valley towards California, Lone Pines. You know, I maintain a scrapbook at a trip. I must, I must show you today sometime. In fact, I maintain a scrapbook for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Bacon Farms. Bacon Farms? Yeah. See, and they're on Instagram. They're on Instagram. So Bacon you Farms, out. Jacks. They do some really, and they have flowers too that they sell. Do some nice things. We went to the Grand Canyon. Greatletters.com. You are right to the, the website. <laughs> See, I give you a kudos where you need it. Oh, look at Tesla. You think it's self driving? You think somebody is just chilling out in the back seat? <laughs> Sipping champagne. I, I don't think I would trust that. Would you be comfortable in a car that's self driving? If I didn't have arms, yes. <laughs> oh. Hey, food. What's up? Let's see what I have. Uh, KFC, I hop. Ooh, who wants pancakes? No pancakes. Three hours later. Three hours later. <laughs> okay. The sun's stinging, boy. It's like the AC is on. And it's blowing. But the sun just giving me a 
called? That big truck that just passed. Yes, that's you. Yes, that's you. It's me. Okay, Daddy. Haley said. Haley said. Okay, Haley, your turn. Pink. Pink? Your blanket. No. Your water bottle. No. Uh, your jacket. No. Your water bottle. No. Uh, you have two more glasses. Anna's shoe or mommy's dress? No, it's Anna's shoe. Oh. Yes. Sometimes I'm not very good at that. I think taking trips with you, you know, it, it could be a trip to the mall, it could be a trip to the beach. And it gives you the opportunity, the adult who has experienced it so many times, to kind of just re really yeah. through the yeah, eyes. eyes and yeah. excitement. Uncle Omar was talking about that with traveling with his grandchildren. Because when they were younger, they didn't have the opportunity to travel as much as he would have liked with his own children. But I guess as things become more financially stable, and they have the opportunity as a, a man up in years to be able to re-enter the experience through your grandchildren. That's cool. Yeah, it is. Your <laughs> Really had a dread crash. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Some logs fall off a truck or something. Oh. Eh? Yeah, straight into the car. You know what's amazing? Like, we on this road for about what 150 kilometers already. Yep. And me and see one pothole, boy. <laughs> Have you seen a pothole since we got here? No, boy. Yeah. Well, I don't live here. <laughs> they don't have a pitch lake, you know. <laughs> Nice highway, man. Nice open highway that we enjoy in here right now. Very nice. And scenic because you get to see a lot of... I like how Florida has a lot of waterland. So it's like a lot of lakes and little pools here and there. But not a scary type where you feel like you're stranded in the ocean. Those come up a little closer to Jacksonville. <laughs> oh, yeah, bridge that oh, gosh. Tight price, yeah? oh, gosh. Scary. I saw a car just now. It's come it's on the left, it's that red car there. And I was hoping to get a shot of it because it says Cherokee on it. Sana. <laughs> and it's called a Cherokee yes. in NP. Yeah. Oh, we had a full lunch. 
we have we have some um we have some panini sandwiches yeah and the damn bless us up with some panini some and, pulled pork panini and hoagie the, the they're like the, the sandwich right or something here. yeah, yeah. We love that, but I said they want to get McDonald's. So. I think she just wants it because of the toy. <laughs> so we've got some McDonald's on the stop. KB home boy. KB. Kimberly Bandit. Unless they want some chicken. So I tell the lady, I want water, I want water. And then I remember the states, so I had to be like, oh, can I have a water, please? <laughs> she's like, at one point, she's like, what? What? Tell what? What? what is it saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to have a water, please. We are trying to get some McDonald's. She said, um, would you all be using the mobile app? Man, I didn't even know it have a mobile app for that. So I think I'll use the mobile app next time. We'll can I have some to... water, please? <laughs> Fantasized about it. I used to ride right. the bike, but I don't know. I, all things considered, I don't know. But it's just cool, and two old dudes just rocking the big bike. <laughs> <laughs> myself because I always felt like to do things like that I needed to have company. you know a, a sibling who doing it or a company who doing it but I guess the friends or the people I know weren't really interested in things like that and uh, I regret even not doing it by myself And yeah, that's been wrong too. Wrong too, yeah. So. Uh, now basically, you always have the the average trainee. They they always have a, a partner. You know, in Florida, yeah. you know, Miami, somebody in Georgia, Atlanta. Yeah. Looking back, is one of the things I, I wished I had done more of in my twenties, even if it meant doing it by myself or with my parents. There's a family trip mommy planned where now sister, her kids, Lasana and his two boys, they went away and I missed that family trip on account of work. 
And it, I could have I could have gotten the time off, but I had just gotten the job. And you didn't want to take it. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't think it would be responsible. But I should just cut into the time and say, you know, I give us some vacation now or I should have. That, that was our big mistake. Yeah, always hear you talk about yeah. that missed trip. <laughs> family boy. Because it was the last family trip they were able to yeah. take, right? Yeah. Because everybody went on different schedules. When opportunities present itself with your family and you could do it. So this trip do was actually boy. Haley's idea, you know, remember? She wanted this is before COVID, she wanted a family trip to Disney World. And when she said family, she means granny, grandpa, mama, aunties and uncles. Yeah, your family, cousins. our yeah. She wanted everybody on this trip. And we were trying to work it out so that we could have come with your mommy and them. And my, my mommy can't come because of her knees right now. And Andrew has his other pants. <laughs> he on the other side of the world. And yeah, but we were hoping to do like a family trip. So we end up having our family. And we were hoping to were hoping intersect to... with mommy and the other yeah, plants. But they ended up coming back before we even yeah. left. <laughs> so it didn't work out this time, but hopefully we can have some some plan in the future. Start saving. <laughs> I keep pulling up. Indicator. But isn't my car the same, Linda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I pull in, I pull in white points the indicator. Look, I pull it again. <laughs> yeah, my Ford is the same orientation, so I don't know why he's so confused. He's been driving it all over the place. <laughs> Daytona Beach. So funny how this trip work out, we were actually supposed to be going to Daytona Beach for a couple days but because of the little setback yeah. <laughs> we end up pushing that stay so you, you we'll be back hotel. Daytona <laughs> you booked the hotel on Expedia? I used Expedia, I booked the two days in Daytona because I wanted to split up this Jacksonville drive because I thought that the, the four and a half hours might have been I mean we could do it but we could have stay and then see something new for a two hours and a two hours. So we booked it on Daytona for two days and we thought we would get to check the You should sites probably talk about like the non-refundable aspect it was, of it. I paid did I pay for it? No, it was non-refundable trip on um, Expedia. So I wasn't gonna get any refund on it because we were gonna miss the check-in date since we missed our flight and <laughs> called the hotel but apparently once you make it through Expedia you have to go through Expedia so I went and did the live chat with Expedia and they were able to move the trip they couldn't refund me but they were able to transfer the date at no penalty uh, at no penalty at one time Katie only. said there wouldn't be any penalty at a one time only <laughs> so they were able to move it so we switched it around we'll go at a later date but I didn't lose any money, thank God. <laughs> so I was so happy about that. America. I can be one of your kids. America. Little Eric looks just like this. <laughs> See, they're not wrong yet. But I'll leave the first part of it. <laughs> Need a rest? Take the exit. <laughs> Destination will be on the left. Destination is on the left. Look at that puppy. A little chunky boy. That's a chunky puppy. <laughs> okay, time to be. What's the path?
onto State Route 9B North to I-295 East Beltway toward Jack's Beaches. Mm. I'm just nice deep pain in my shoulder over really there. I have one in the middle of my back. <laughs> <laughs> like the top of the middle between my shoulder blades. One pothole 
on the whole I-95 yeah. on the way here. I hit it. <laughs> In 6.6 .6 kilometers, go straight on onto I-295 North. the coordinates and I plan to report it. That is the treaty. You're going to report your one pool. Yes, I'm very disappointed to see one pothole. <laughs> on a four hour trip. I'm excited to see these bridges. Oh gosh. Hey, look at this Gaston Copan. So, Papa, impressive. It is, it is confused me. <laughs> I feel like I'm very self and I don't bypass right now. <laughs> the spider. Uh, it's, it's very impressive. Well, Papa, but it get confused. <laughs> In no skydiving. Hey, you wanna go skydiving? If it's in a plane, sure. I love it. <laughs> I would. So you don't want to do indoor skydiving? And I'd like to fire some live ammunition. I would like to fire some live ammunition too. I think I'll be a good shot because I have good aim. You remember those games in, uh, look at the floor on Nicole. Remember those games in Galactica <laughs> where I had to shoot the things? I was real good at that. <laughs> and then I get a western scene. Yeah, yeah. And you to shoot, shoot the old man. man. You go rock in the rocket chair. <laughs> yes. Take a look at this bridge up ahead. It's coming up in about uh, no, I don't two know minutes. If, I don't know if folks know this, right? But you do a really good impression of Trinity or Bushman. <laughs> I know. So I don't know if you're willing to no. let, me, let me do like a, a Trinity or Bushman in driving in Florida. Oh, gosh. What's something he might see? <laughs> I can't do that. It's a Bushman, Bushman, cool man, Bushman, good thing, folks, man. <laughs> We have to go get some fish. <laughs> I want to go kayaking. Oh my god, look at that bridge! Look at that bridge, man! I had to come out of character because I hate this bridge. <laughs> I hate it so Look at that bridge! Really, look at what it's happening. Alright, 
I'm very scared of the bridge. Right. Because it's over so much Whoa. water. Whoa. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, it's so scary. Oops, that look. is not the Carly Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the size, the magnitude of this beast. How they build this? Hmm. I remember the first time going over this. I was in proper panic mode. <laughs> and if you look out the inside the window, you will see how tall the sides of the bridge are. Yeah, we passed the bridge. Yeah, it's going to be a curtain and you'll see. <laughs> Look at all those boats. It's coming boats. up through your window just now. <sighs> that is bridge back, by the way. That is the biggest bridge I ever seen. <laughs> wow. Wow. Is that a really beautiful structure? It's lovely. There? It's so nice and so scary. Oh my. Look at that. Look at how many boats in the water. You have to look. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at this view. <laughs> this will never cease to scare me and amuse me at the same time. Every time we come here, this is what the fourth time coming to Jacksonville, and it's still just as scary. <laughs> Yeah, sure, baby. Well, let's take it off then, all right? <laughs> <laughs>